Welcome to Sarvi Wildlife Care Center here in Arlington, Washington. We are a wildlife rehabilitation hospital. And just like any hospital, we care for patients. Our patients happen to be wild animals. We take in 3,000 wild animals every year, all different species of birds and mammals. Over 40 years ago, our founder started Sarvi Wildlife with just a few animals coming in for care. It grew exponentially. Finally, she had to purchase this large piece of land. We're on over four acres out here in a beautiful rural part of Arlington, which serves us very well for taking care of the animals that come into our center. However, as the decades have marched on and tens of thousands of animals have come through our doors, we have worn this facility out. There's just no other way to put it. We're no longer just caring for a few dozen animals every year. We get thousands of animals in and we need the building to support that. We must have a brand new wildlife hospital. Our patients deserve it, our staff deserves it, and you, the community, deserve this. As a wonderful resource to serve us for the next 40 plus years, we need to build something that will sustain our operations. So today we are sharing with you our plans. This is our biggest fundraising effort ever. We are raising $2 million to build a brand new wildlife hospital. We're so excited to be sharing this massive capital campaign with you and having you partner with us. Help us continue to care for Pacific Northwest wildlife. It is essential that places like Sarvi Wildlife Care Center are here to treat injured and orphaned wildlife in the state of Washington. So we're able to provide the community a service where if they find an injured or orphaned animal that we can help and we do it for free. We are a nonprofit. We rely completely on donations and we will take care of that animal just like the vet would take care of your cat or dog. It's our duty, we believe, that because of habitat loss, because of human-animal-wildlife interactions, that there's a place here that can help mitigate that wildlife loss. We have a duty to help the wildlife that are impacted by human interference. As we have continued to develop here in the Puget Sound, we're destroying habitat. Trees are coming down, new buildings are going up, and there's nowhere for these animals to go. So a lot of times things end up here because they have just been squeezed out of a habitat. It's dangerous for the public to try to take care of any injured or orphan wildlife that they find. These are wild animals and when they grow up, they're going to be dangerous and you're putting yourself and your family at risk. Also, they do carry diseases. These animals are very specific in their types of diets and the types of formula. I can't tell you how many times we have seen well-intentioned people trying to take care of these orphans, whether it's a fawn or a squirrel, and they come in emaciated, dehydrated, and sometimes too far gone for us to help. And it's heartbreaking knowing that if they had brought it to us, as soon as they found it, that animal would be flourishing. These animals deserve to go back out into the wild, and that's our number one focus, is to make sure wild animals stay wild. So the profession of wildlife rehabilitation encompasses so many different things. We have to be a wildlife biologist. We have to be a dietitian. We have to be a veterinary technician in assisting the veterinarians with all the medical techniques that are required. We do a lot of different medical tests and treatments here to try to take care of the animals as best as we can. It's now time to build a brand new wildlife hospital. We have to rehab the facility where those patients are cared for every day. And the only way to do that is to actually start from scratch and build a brand new hospital. 
So we need to raise $2 million in order to continue to do the work that we do. So with a new hospital, our patients will get even better quality care. We're gonna be able to have a larger and more isolated ICU area. We're going to be able to have a larger baby mammal and baby bird room. Every year we get more and more of these patients in and it'll allow us to increase capacity. And we know that that's important and it's critical because as more patients come in every year, we need to have the ability to care for them. definitely needs a new water system here because we're always using water the entire day. We have a bunch of laundry that's going all day long. We do about 30 loads of laundry every day. And we do have sheets and towels and fleeces in every single animal enclosures. And then we're also cleaning out enclosures. People are always doing dishes. We fill up a bunch of buckets and pools to bring water in for the animals. A new electrical grid would be great because right now we can't run both our washers and we can't run our dryer and we can't run the microwave and the two water heaters we have for heating up our formula for our babies at the same time. If you run all those things at once, then the breaker flips. So now you have to go unplug all these things, find the GFI, go throw the breaker, which adds extra time. When the baby is supposed to be fed at 11, now your feed is getting done at 11.15, which throws them onto a later schedule. It's usually hotter inside the clinic than outside the clinic. Regardless of how many fans we plug in and where we put them, how we position them, it's still always just getting hotter. That means that it's really stressful for us as staff members, but the more important thing is that it's really stressful for the animals. We're always trying to find different ways to cool them down. So we'll give out ice cubes to animals and sometimes they'll stand on them or just stand near them, anything to cool off. We'll try and figure out a way to move them into a different enclosure outside just during the day and move them back in at night so that they can get a little more fresh air. So if we had air conditioning, that would save us a lot of time and hassle and it would make the animals much less stressed. With us being here, each and every injured or orphaned animal that passes through our door gets a second chance to be released into the wild, to breed, and to make the environment as a whole healthy again. I feel really fortunate to work at SARV because we're able to treat all of the species of wildlife in Washington. Some species that other rehab centers might not have the capacity or financial ability to be able to take care of, we can and we're happy to do it. We feel that every animal deserves a chance. Thank you for continuing to be part of Sarvi Wildlife's mission. We really appreciate you taking the time to learn about this capital campaign. It's because of support from people like you that we can continue to take care of the animals that are brought to us. So let's together help keep Washington wild. <laughs>